So first run a global scan and connect to your car. When the scan has finished, go to fault finding. This puts you into an advanced mode. Let's wait for that to load. Ignore that you don't have internet access. So we need to go into the engine management ECU. Scroll down to repair. Configuration. Manual configuration. Configuration. Injector classification. And you'll see here this little diagram, this part here where my mouse is circling, that is the flywheel or the gearbox. So injector number one is the one closest to the gearbox. It's important to take into account that this code is only a manufacturing tolerance. It is not a flow calibration table. So when you change the injector for a new part with the same part number, you simply add in the injector correction code. If you upgrade your injectors to a complete different injector, you need to both remap the ECU and then you can add in the correction code. Um, a little bit of information. If you have a 1.6 HDI, the old 16 valve engine and you have the 239 injector you can upgrade to a 259 and the code is the same length if you try to code in a 297 on models before 2008 then the code is a different length and the ecu will not accept it this is not that important because the ecu will adjust automatically over time so you don't actually need to worry about it so much but of course, adding the corrections is the correct way to do it and it will sound better faster and you don't need to wait for the ECU to adjust. If you have a model, it's about mid-2007 they switched. The 90s and the 75s had a 311 injector and the 110 had a 297 injector. So those codes are the same length and interchangeable when you do the upgrade. And of course, you still need to do the remap if you have fitted the bigger injectors. So when you do this, you just need to give a really good look at the injector codes because it's easy to mix up the D and the B and the zero, for example. Then once you're done, save that. If you've done the code wrong, it will not let you through to the next stage.